Hello, my name is uh, Rege and this is going to be my first YouTube video. Uh, I'm going to tell you something about myself. Um, I am 21 years old and I live in Denmark. And um, right now it's really cold. It's uh, been snowing. And I'm going to start out with reviewing something I got in, in the mail. And uh, this is what I got. I got the sorted box and I'm going to review it for you now. I know I said the sorted box before, but it's a sourced box and it's uh, containing a lot of healthy snacks. I heard about it uh, through Marcus Butler's videos and uh, I thought it sounded very exciting. I'm normally not a health freak at all. I don't eat healthy. I eat what I want and uh, I thought why not try it because if you can find something that is healthy and tastes good, then why not uh, eat that instead of uh, candy or anything unhealthy. The review is going to contain a lot of small clips because I don't want to open everything in the box because then it's gonna go bad. So if I'm changing clothes, or I'm looking different, different settings, something, it's just because it's filmed another day or another time. Okay, now we're going to open the box. I have uh, just broken the seal so I can open it. And inside there's this, there's a menu, yeah, and then let's try to open this. And uh, yeah, okay, oh there's a lot of stuff in here, um, yeah, let's try the first one I took here, it's um, Broccoli chips. Okay, let's try it. Yeah, now I got the bag here. And it says... Oh, there's a true or false question. Uh, broccoli was known as uh, Italian asparagus. Mm, is that true or false? Mm, when they ask it that way, it's gonna be true. Let's see. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> okay, now... Let's open this. I can. Okay. Oh, the smell hits uh, first. Yeah. Mm. It smells like um, fries. Actually, it smells like fries and broccoli at the same time. But okay. Let's see what's in here. This was the bag. It looks like. So I'm sure it's broccoli. It's look unless they are very good at making big broccoli. <laughs> Let's try. Broccoli is actually one of the vegetables I like. So um, the taste there's an aftertaste of broccoli. The first thing is it's very crunchy, and um, that's a good thing. It's like a chip, and um, that's how it's supposed to be, I guess. Take another one. I know my face said it mm, at first, but um, oh, there's a lot of um, look at my fingers. <laughs> They're a little bit dirty now. Huh? When it first get into your mouth, it's like mm -hmm, okay, and then when you think it's broccoli, it's okay. It's one. Uh, it's actually good. Now I want to combine two items. Uh, the first one is this uh, mini rice thins, and uh, then with this uh, almond butter, yeah. yeah. Look at this. It's not like nothing. Okay. And then I'm gonna put it on. <laughs> that okay? On. And then I'm gonna taste it. You can try leaving the butter first. The butter tastes a lot like um, almond. It's not sweet, it's just... It's actually good. Well, it tastes like a normal rice then. Together it's very good. A little bit um, salty. And 
is it? It's filled with nuts, but it's um, still very smooth, and it's uh, and you can taste the ingredients. Definitely taste both coconut and almond. Mm, I like it. Now I'm going to try this tea from uh, Bluebird. I normally don't drink tea because uh, I don't like it. <laughs> I think it just tastes like boiled water with a hint of some flavor. But um, I'll try it and uh, I'll see how I like it. Now I have let the tea set for some minutes and now we're going to taste it. I am going to wait a minute to taste it because um, the last time I drank something hot, it uh, burned my tongue and uh, it hurt for four days. So um, I'm going to let it settle a little more and cool down. But I can talk about the smell. It smells uh, pretty flowery, uh, like a flower or um, some herbs, perhaps. I love the smell, both of the coffee and of tea, but I don't like the taste. Oh, let's wait. Yep, yeah, now I'm going to taste it and uh, let's see. Um, I'm going to be honest, it tastes like every other tea I've tasted. Like nothing. But I hate tea, so uh, I think if you like tea, you probably like it. But um, tea is never gonna be my thing. I have one positive thing to say about the tea. It's now been a few minutes since I, since I tasted it, and uh, the aftertaste is very, very good. It's still in my mouth, and it's very good. Uh, now I'm going to try all the chocolates from the sauce box. It is a raw chocolate brown. It's a raw cacao bottles and dairy-free chocolate milk. I'm going to start out with the chocolate milk and uh, I'm going to shake it, because it says so. Um, I'm going to pour it into a glass, because I like to see what I drink. It's like um, when you're doing something with a non-visible straw, you just have to pour it out in your hand or into a glass to see, see how it looks like. Uh, at least I have to. It is made with the coconut milk instead of regular milk. It smells like chocolate milk, like ordinary chocolate milk. Um, normally I don't like uh, it cold, but um, I'm going to try it. Yeah. Mm. It's actually really good. Mm. Oh, I couldn't figure out what it, what it was, but uh, there's chunks of chocolate in this milk. <laughs> it's... Uh, it's um, very fun. I can't tell it is not um, made with the ordinary milk. <laughs> I have to get used to the chunks. See? Okay, maybe it's just disgusting. But you get some chunks like this. Maybe I didn't shake it enough, but it's uh, good with or without chunks. Hmm? Now I'm going to try these uh, chocolate buttons. And uh, they are also dairy free. Mm, they, they smell really, really nice. Like some good chocolate. And they are very big. See? Mm. I like this. Mm. It's very, very good. It's some of the best chocolate I ever had, I actually think. You can really taste the chocolates. It's very intense. And they are very, very soft. They're not uh, hard to chew or anything. They just melt. You don't even need to chew them. They just melts. Very, very good. Now I'm going to taste the last chocolate thing, which is the raw chocolate brownie. And uh, it says it contains mostly dates, cashews, and then uh, around 10% raw chocolate. I expect it to be both fruity and nutty and chocolatey. It smells uh, both of chocolate and of uh, dates. There's um, a bit of chunks 
isn't. I assume it's cashews. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try it. Hmm? It is um, maybe a bit dry. It's, that's my first thought. Um, and it, um, I can taste the combo of the chocolate and dates a lot. The cashews don't stand out that much. Mm. I can eat it, but uh, <laughs> it's, mm, I don't think it's gonna be my favorite. It's really smooth, and the first um, taste that hits you is uh, the dates, and then some bite taste of chocolate. It does not taste bad, but um, mm, but I I can eat it. It's good. I will say so. It's a bit dry, but good. I'm going to try to chuck the last cherry milk, and it's gonna be hell for me. But um, I'm going to do it. First time, very good. Last time, yeah. Hell, hell for me. Oh. Now I'm going to try fruit jerky and seed toast, which supposedly should taste like pizza. Mm. The fruit jerky is with the apple and mango, and it should be uh, vegan, contain 100% fruit, and be gluten free. It smells like dried fruit. Let's see how it looks like. It's this. Uh, Brown things. <laughs> okay. It's a little bit sour. <laughs> it tastes a bit like um, gummies, actually. A thin layer of uh, gummy. Once you get used to it, it's uh, very sweet. It's very good. Now I'm going to try this uh, seed toast. And it just tastes like a spicy pizza. Mm. I normally don't like spicy things. Uh, a little bit spicy maybe, but not that spicy. So, we'll see how I like it. It's <laughs> it smells like pizza. <laughs> okay, it look it looks like this. Very thin. It's it actually looks like a rye bread, dried rye bread. <laughs> I think. It smells like tomato, like pizza with tomato and oregano, actually. <laughs> it's not that spicy. Okay. Okay, it's, it's a bit spicy. It comes eventually. You can definitely taste the seeds, but you can also taste the tomato-like flavor. It is a bit dry. Okay, it's getting a little bit spicy. The only thing it leaves uh, is a spicy taste in my mouth. It doesn't taste bad, but it's not that interesting either. Mm. Now I'm going to try the last three things. It's uh, this tube with the nuts, seeds and fruits. A pecan and cinnamon um, flapjack. I don't know what a flapjack is, but okay. And this Roast hip and lemon organic bar. I don't know what roast hip is. First, we have this uh, tube. I think if uh, I would eat it with anything, I would put it over some yogurt or something for breakfast. Well, I'm going to just try this as it is. And then you can see there's a lot of seeds and nuts. It uh, tastes as expected. It um, tastes like uh, nuts and um, raisins and maybe some other fruits I can't point out. But um, you can taste all the ingredients and I think it would be good to pour over some yogurt or something like that. And then we have a flapjack. Uh, in general I don't know what a flapjack is. So this little box. Then Oops. 
it looks like <laughs> some kind of cake. Mm. <laughs> it smells a lot like um, cinnamon. It actually smells a bit like Christmas. <laughs> and it looks like this. Hmm? Mm. Mm. It tastes a lot like something you would uh, eat for Christmas, <laughs> something like that. But it's very good. There's a lot of um, I don't know. It's it's not seeds, but um, I think it's pecan. I'm not familiar with pecan either, but um, I, th I think it tastes very good. I'm going to end this tasting with uh, this rose hip and the lemon bar, and it's uh, wheat free, gluten free, soy free, and dairy free. So I'm excited to taste it to see what's uh, in it, but because it sounds like there's nothing in it. <laughs> Mm. It smells a lot like lemon, and I love the taste of lemon. It uh, actually looks a lot like the flapjack, I think. Got a very strong lemon taste at first. Lemon taste and smell. The consistency is um, like the flap flapjack. It's a bit like uh, cake, but you can taste there's some grains or something in it. The lemon taste is very overwhelming and I can't taste uh, anything else, but I don't mind. It's uh, very good and I like it. And uh, now I'm going to end off. I hope you uh, enjoyed it as much as I did. I thought it was very exciting to taste uh, something new. You still have uh, time to subscribe to the next box which comes out in uh, February. And uh, I can leave a link down below to the website where you can order it. And uh, that was all for me. Have a nice day. Bye.